so i have all the materials on the table and i'm gonna walk you guys through it for the yarn i am using this yarn this is what i always use it is a 100 percent acrylic yarn and one is actually 100 gram like stated um i think i used about nine ball of this which in total should be about 900 gram but if you're making a size smaller or if you're making yours a bit shorter then you would need less and of course if you're making this bigger or you're making yours a bit longer than mine you're going to need more i don't know how much you will be needing for specific sizes because again i'm making this for just one size and just for myself so i cannot do the calculation I hope you guys will be able to do so for the crochet hook i will be using a 3.5 and a five millimeter this is what you will be needed the pattern is worked in five different panels we have one front panel no we have one back panel sorry two front panel and then two sleeve the pattern is actually just a simple mesh pattern which is worked with a repetition of two rows so we have row one row two and row three after the first three rows you're going to just go back and forth from row two and row three you're basically repeating row two and row three until you have your desired length which is basically horizontally because that's how we'll be working particularly sorry um everything else will be down in the description box below in case you want to go check out the pattern if you, in case you want to go check out the materials needed i'll leave everything down in the description box so now let's move to the measurements needed so i wanted to come on and explain some things about the pattern before we get started again like you guys have seen mine is super oversized and that was the exact look that i was going for and the length is just the perfect length so if you want yours to be the same length or even longer then you are going to be taking your hips measurements instead of your bust measurement because your hips are definitely um, way wider compared to your bust but if you want yours to be cropped which means it doesn't go below your lower part of your body then you're going to take your bust measurement as your main main measurement so in my case I am using my hips measurement because mine goes below my hips below my butt area which means I am going to divide that measurement by two. Again, I mentioned in the very beginning of the video that the pattern is worked in one back panel, two front panel, and two sleeve. So you're going to divide your whatever measurements you decide to use, your hips or your bust, you're going to divide that by two. And depending on the fit, I would suggest you add a few more inches to it. Again, mine, I want mine to be extra, extra large. So I decided to add 30 inches to it which is wild i don't know why i decided to do that but i did so instead of using my hips measurement which is 47 i am going to be using 77 i know it's crazy but again this is optional you don't have to do this i just wanted to mention it just so in case you're going for the same of a size look then you can do that and if you're making an extra extra large then you already know that's the measurement you're going to make because I am, I decided to go for extra, two times extra large, right? So I am going to be using 77 instead of 47. So I'm basically adding 30, 30 inches to my part, to my measurements. So when you have your measurements, you're going to divide that measurement by two. So basically 77 divided by two. Give you a total of 38 and a half inches, right? And that is going to be the width for my back panel because i already divided that but if we still have 38 and a half inches again that we need to use for the front panels right because we're going to work on the front panel separately but because we need a gap for your neck because obviously your neck does not go around and it's a cardigan and not a sweater we are going to take the measurement from here to here i am going to make mine five inches but if you want to be very specific with the measurements you're going to take from here to here so since i'm making my five inches i am going to subtract five from the 38 comma five and that will leave me with a total of 33 comma five inches and this is what i am going to use for my front panel so basically 33 comma five is going to 33 and a half is going to be divided by two again because my front panel is going to be worked with in two different panels so i'm going to divide that by two and that leaves me with a total of 16. 
that's a 17 we're going to round this up to 17 inches right which means one panel is going to be 17 inches this other panel is going to be 17 inches and my back panel is going to be 38,5 inches hopefully that does not even conf that does not confuse you guys i hope so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let's get right into it so to get started i'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot and i'm going to chain a multiple of two until i have a total of 18 inches for my front panel right here i just finished my chain i did a total of 62 chain which should be about 18 inches and that is the measurement that i mentioned that i was going to use for each of my front panel so now we are going to chain an additional three because the pattern is worked in multiple of two plus three and this three we just chained is a double crochet stitch by itself so we are going to go into the fourth with our first second double crochet stitch sorry so right there you're going to insert double crochet into that fourth stitch and into the next stitch you're going to insert one double crochet as well and just like this you're just going to go ahead and insert one double crochet into every stitch double crochet row now we are going to go ahead and start with row two and for row two you're going to go ahead and chain four after chaining four you're going to turn and this chain four we just did is a double crochet chain one stitch so after that we are going to skip this next double crochet and right into the third you're going to insert one double crochet again the chain four we just did is a double crochet chain one which means after this double crochet you're going to chain one skip a stitch and into the next with another double crochet right there you're going to chain one skip a stitch and into the next with a double crochet and you're going to just repeat this exact pattern until the very end right here i'm coming to the end of row two you're going to end of the row by chain one and go into your last stitch which is this chain three space into the third chain you're going to insert one double crochet and that is how you end of row two and you should have something like this when that is complete to get started with the next row you chain three and you're going to turn and right into this very first chain one space you're going to insert two double crochets remember as always the chain three is a double crochet stitch and after that you're going to skip this double crochet and into this chain, next chain one you're going to insert two double crochets again skip your chain one and into this you're going to insert an additional two double crochets all into that same stitch and you're going to just repeat this pattern for row three until you get to the very end you should have this at the end of your row and we are going to end up the row by inserting two double crochets into this last chain one space so remember we did chain four at the very beginning of row two and i did say it actually that stitch is actually a double crochet chain one so you're going to just insert two double crochets right into that stitch to end of the row and this is what you're going to repeat like i mentioned earlier with row two and row three so you're going to go ahead and repeat row two which is a chain four turn and you're going to skip this next double crochet and into the next you're going to insert a double crochet stitch you're going to skip a stitch and into the next you're going to insert a double crochet after chaining one so you're basically chaining one skip a stitch and into the next with a double crochet and you're going to repeat to row two at the end of row two you're going to chain three and repeat row three basically go back and forth and do this until you have your desired length so right here i have two of my front panel complete and again they should just look like a basic rectangle at this point and for reference i did a total of 28 sets so again row two and row three is one set and i did a total of 28 for the 
two front panels so i have both of them complete right here and same both of them are the same length and now we are going to start the back panel like i mentioned earlier from the previous clip we are going to add these two numbers together and we're going to add about five inches to it the five inches is going to be basically the um the measurement around the side of your neck the side that is what the five inches is going to be so you're basically you can count your stitches if you did count how many chains you did all you're going to do is you're going to multiply that by two and you're going to add five inches to it again but i'm going to grab the measurement tape and use measurement for this case but you can also just take the measurement and see what the length the measurement is from here to here but i'm sure it's five inches for most case if you're maybe a size bigger then maybe add two more inches seven inches to it after you have your front panel ready both of them or even just one you're going to grab your tape and you're going to take the measurement the width of the panel depending on the size you decide to make you're going to grab your tape and take the width of the measurement for that area you're not taking the length you're basically taking the width and in my case it's 18 inches so mine is 18 inches but also keep in mind that this um, stitch is very stretchy so working with the stitch you might get this a little bit more stretchy so i would actually recommend you use the amount of chains you did at the beginning so for example if you did chain a total of 70 or a total of 23 whatever chain you did you are just going to multiply that amount by two and you're going to continue to chain after you have the multiplication until you have an additional five five rows but remember that the pattern is worked in multiple of two so you want to keep chaining a multiple of two until you have that measurement we are but going to go ahead and attach the front panel to the back panel the front panel to the back panel so you're basically going to grab your back panel you guys do see that my back panel is huge you can literally use this as a blanket that's how crazy i did go with the measurement so you're basically going to align your front panels to the back panel so basically grab one edge of the panel and you i want to do this while seated because if i go to the table you guys might not see because my table is not wide enough but just the same way you would attach a panel you're just going to right there single crochet the very top of the front panel to the back panel and you're going to single crochet the opposite panel to this side so i'm going to do that and i'll see you guys when it's complete and by the way i'm using the five millimeter to get this done we have the two front panels single crochet together so you can see that this gap is what i was talking about that you need to leave a gap so you can put this on so i'm gonna put this on now and see what the fitting looks like so this is what we have currently i single crochet the shoulders together and i can see i can see the vision it's so huge and this is what i'm going for like i'm going for this oversized look so for the sleeve we are starting with the three millimeter and you're just going to make a slip knot and chain a total of 21 and this is the length of the band around the sleeve area after chaining 21 you're going to go into the second chain with the after book crochet stitch so yarn over Go into that second chain with your first of the book crochet stitch and right into the next stitch you're just going to repeat one of the book crochet until you get to the very end of the row. So this is what you should have after the first row. So we are going to start row two by chaining one and you're going to turn 
And right into this very first of double crochet, you have a back loop. And this is a back loop, so you have a front loop on each stitch and a back loop. So we are going to go into the back loop, yarn over, go into the back loop with your first of double crochet stitch. From here on, you're going to yarn over and insert one of double crochet into the back loop of each of each stitch from the previous row. So at the end of this row, I should also have 20 of double crochet stitches because again, this is not an increase or decrease row. We are just repeating one of double crochet until the very end. So you should have this at the end of row two. So guess that over row three, you're going to chain one and basically repeat the same thing by inserting one of double crochet into that back loop of every stitch. And this is what you're going to repeat until this is wide enough to fit wherever you want your sleeve to actually stop. So I'm going to just go ahead and repeat this and I'll see you guys when I have my long enough, wide enough to fit around my arm. Hey guys, so I finished my um, sleeve. I did a total of 28 rows for reference. I don't want it to be super tight. I just want it to be, obviously, you guys already did see that my cardigan is oversized so i kind of want a little gap around it so that's the reason why i did 28 rows so now we're going to start the main panel which is um we're still going to use a three millimeter for this very first row so you're going to chain one and you're going to insert one single crochet into every available stitch around the side of the sleeve so basically one single crochet all around so you're not increasing and you are not decreasing. You're just inserting one single crochet all around until you get to the very end of the row. So, after your first row of single crochet, we are going to go ahead and repeat an additional single crochet row. But this time around, it's going to be with uh, increase. So for that, you're going to chain one. And turn and now you're going to insert a single crochet into that very first single crochet you have you made from the beginning and you're going to go right into that single crochet with an additional single crochet so we're basically increasing by inserting two single crochets into every single crochet we did from the previous row and this is going to give us an increase basically double the amount of stitches we have from the first row. This is where you're going to repeat by inserting two single crochets into every single crochet from the previous row until you get to the very very end of the row. This is what you should have after your second single crochet row. So now you're going to switch from your 3mm back to the 5mm and this is what we are going to use for the rest of the sleeve. So from here on we are going to repeat the same pattern we did for the front and the back panel. And we are going to start with the double crochet row first and then we are going to make our way to row 2 and row 3. To do that you are going to chain 3 and turn and right into the second Again, the double crochet chain three we just did is a double crochet stitch. So you're going to go into the second stitch with a double crochet. And you're going to repeat one double crochet into every single crochet you just did from the previous foundation row. So one double crochet each and I'll see you guys at the end. I have this at the end of the row. And now we are going to go ahead and start with row two. And of course it looks like this now because of the increase but after a few rows it's going to look normal because this is really abnormal so now we are going to start with row two and to do that as always you're going to chain four and you're going to skip this very second stitch and into the third you're going to go with a double crochet chain one skip a stitch into the next with a double crochet chain one skip a stitch and into the next with a double crochet and this is where you're going to repeat this mesh pattern until you get to the end of the row so i am coming to the end of row two i have um, two more stitches so i'm going to chain one and go into this chain four space into the third chain 
chain three space sorry i'm going to go into that third chain with a double crochet if you have um an even odd number you're going to just do the same thing i did with the other panel right so the front panel by just skipping that stitch entirely so now you're going to repeat row three which is basically chain three and turn and into this very first chain one space you're going to insert two double crochets Into this next chain to chain one space, sorry, you're going to insert two double crochets. And this is what you're going to do until you get to the end of the row. And just the same way you did for the back and the fourth panel, you are going to repeat this step until you have your desired sleeve. So do that and I'll see you guys when I have my complete as well. I have my sleeve so I have my sleeves complete I did two of these and again for the sleeve I did a total of 12 sets so basically row two and row three are one set together because the reason why I, my sleeve doesn't have to be so long is because the cardigan the front and the back panel are already oversized which means it automatically lands around my shoulder like this one that I have on you can tell that the sleeve started from here instead of starting all the way from the top so that means you don't have to make the initial sleeve super long because the front panel and the back panel are automatically going to land a little bit around this area so i did a total of 12 sets in total for both panels i chained the same amount of chain for the band and did the increase as well so, so now, now that we have the sleeve and then the shoulder single crochet together you are just going to grab that and single crochet that around this panel and i hope you guys can see exactly what i'm doing because again this is super huge so at one point you might probably get lost but you're basically going to fold the sleeve into two and the very top of it is what you're going to align to where the seam is at the area so i'm going to grab a stitch marker and i'm going to align those two i'm going to use a stitch marker to get that complete so i'm just going to mark the folded side on the sleeve and i'm going to attach that to the seam area on the cardigan right there so now i'm gonna just take this off And from here on, what I'm going to do is basically, because of the width of this, I can't even go to the table. But I'm basically going to, I already marked that center, right? So I'm going to attach my yarn on this side. Let me turn this to the opposite side so you guys can literally see the sleeve. So this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve and this is the back panel. So I'm basically going to reattach my yarn on one side and single crochet that all to the stitch marker and from the stitch marker up until the opposite side literally and that's what i'm going to do and i'll see you guys later so you want to make sure that the seam you're about to create aligns with the seam on the inside of the panel keep that in mind so you should have this at this point so you have let me fold this well so you have the front and the back panel you have the sleeve that has been attached around it so now what you're going to do you, you should have your yarn still attached on one end this end or this end i think i have mine attached right there so you're going to either cut off your yarn so you're going to cut off the yarn actually so you're going to cut off your yarn from there cut your yarn off and you're going to reattach the yarn on the sleeve so basically at the very edge and from here on you're going to single crochet just the same thing we've been doing all the way down and then you're going to go down to the panels basically to the front and the back panel and that's basically how you're going to that's how i do say basically all the time but that's how you're going to single crochet the sleeve so reattach your yarn on the side and single crochet all the way down it's going to be a very long journey but that's how you're going to do it so i'm going to do mine and i'll see you guys when one of my sleeves is attached so i can put this on because i cannot wait i cannot wait. Hey guys so i have one sleeve attached i'm gonna put this on again i have a big sweater on so i might i need to i need to somehow change into a small 
something small so you guys can actually see but of course i don't want to reveal everything too much so you're just going to i just want to put this on so i can see what it looks like before i all oh, like, eh, eh, eh. this is literally my reaction when i make stuff that i like i'm just like let's take a break because what exactly what i pictured it to be the size is just and mind you i have i already have an oversized sweater underneath the fact that i can actually go on top of an oversized sweater means it's the perfect size so this is now how the sleeve looks you're going to just repeat the same exact step for the opposite sleeve like i showed you you're going to mark with a stitch marker single crochet the sleeve and then you're going to reattach the yarn at the very bottom of the front and the back panel and work your way all up or you're going to attach it at the very edge of the sleeve guys super super simple so i'm going to do that because i kind of want to do something else at the very end but i love it so far so good this is mm, delicious so now that i have both sleeve attached i am just going to go around this front panel with a single crochet stitch or a double crochet you can do whatever you want to and this is just to knitting off the edge of the front panel so i'm going to reattach my yarn to the edge of the panel to the very end and i'm going to go all around until i get to the opposite end of the opposite panel with one single crochet and that is basically going to knitting off this edge of the front panel and around the neckline as well so what you're going to do is you're going to reattach your yarn right there and from here on you're going to grab a stitch and you're going to chain one and after chaining one because this is not you can't really see the stitches i usually would just say just go into every double crochet with two single crochet stitches or just any available space i think that's the the best thing so you're going to just insert one single crochet into every available space again just to knitting off that side you can also do this two times so basically two rows if you want to whatever you want to do you can go ahead and do that so you want to make sure you're not increasing because obviously this is just to knitting but at the same time you are not um, skipping any space so you're just going to insert one single crochet into every available space around and that is what I'm going to do and I'll see you guys when it's complete I finished the cardigan and this is the final look let me clip this on so this is what the cardigan looks like I did a total of two rows around the neck like i did say i was going to do i love how oversized it is i love how comfortable it is i like the color of it i like everything like everything the stitch as well i'm super glad that i decided to use this pattern this mesh pattern for this cardigan i super 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 i'm obsessed i love the sizes like even the sleeve is just the perfect size just what i wanted it to be just what i imagined it to be but yeah this is the end of today's video let me know what you guys think and if you do like this video give me a big thumbs up as well i really appreciate that that would actually let youtube know that you guys appreciate my videos and you enjoy watching and learn a lot from them as well um let me know what you guys think down below and if you did make yourself one tag me on instagram or on facebook if you're on facebook also on tiktok actually tag me so i can repost and see what you guys make and see the colors that you go for because you can literally make this in so many you can use a multicolor for this you can use a blended yarn you can use whatever you want to and i might as well make this in the black i just need to find the time to do so but yeah i love it i hope you guys love and enjoy this video as well uh, i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye